Similar to the technique for closing holes that we already looked at, there is another similar situation where you either want to create a tunnel between two holes or just create a bridge between two edges. So Z-Bonder bridge is great for this as well. So let's take a look. So I have here a very simple model uh, which you can see that there are some holes over here. Okay, so there is one hole here on left side and then uh, sorry right side and then we have on the left side as well. So let's make a bridge between these two holes over here so first of all to make it easier to view let me press shift and f on the keyboard to get this uh, my wireframe on and then i will press b and z and m to get back to my poly modeler too so now uh, my, sorry my z modeler brush so now i have my z modeler brush over here so i want to create a bridge between this hole and this hole so what I need to do at this stage is that I just have to go to any of the edge click on the bridge and I have here edges and two holes so at this stage what I will do here is that so as I want to create a bridge between these two holes so I will choose two holes over here so bridge not the edges, two holes. So what it will do here now is that it will ask me what are the two holes that you want to have a bridge between. Okay. So first is this one. I will, and as you can see, if I hold, uh, hover over it, you can see it says bridge two holes. Click first hole. So this is the first hole. Oops. Okay. So let me zoom in. So if I click here, it will be selected now it is going to look for the second hole so this is the second hole if i will go here it says bridge two holes click the second hole and drag to reshape so let me make a quite nice angle here so it will be easier for you to see now if i will click here and then after clicking what i will do i will do the drag so when i will start dragging it will start reshaping my bridge so as soon as I will click, you can see it made a bridge between these two holes. Now, if I will move back and forth, you can see it is reshaping it by adding uh, my, you can say like edges, vertices or whatever there are. So now you can see there is a completely a different kind of a uh, uh, bridge over here. So there is no hole anymore. So this is a quite nice way to do this. Now let's try another thing uh like a uh, option here so i will just go here okay press space bar okay bridge two holes now this time maybe i don't want to use spline maybe this one uh this time i want to use uh uh you can say corners okay round corners and then i will click on my first hole which is this part then i will go to this area Okay, and I will click and drag here, and you can see that it is now reshaping this. Okay, it's reshaping it outward or inward, so I can have this kind of a you know bridge, which can go inward or outward. But outward, if it goes, it kind of makes a sense. Okay, so you can see I have a very interesting shape here now. So this is how you can bridge uh, between two holes over here inverse or outward just you have to choose your own like settings so uh there are a lot of settings over here you can see that i've used the round corner on this one but there is straight edges here tighter uh round, tight round corner so there are lots so, of uh there's not enough time to go all over these settings so you can try on your own okay basic uh and by the way this uh, project file you can find in the link in the description below and you can download and practice on it now let's uh, take a look at another scenario let me go and import a new uh, file over here okay so all these files you may find inside your uh, description link here so you can download unzip them and you can use them okay so i have here which uh, in holds two file i will import that and you can see i have 
a complete big hole over here with the lots of uh, faces. Now I have to, uh, you know, uh, cover this hole. We have already gone through how to cover the hole. So simply what you do is that you just go to any edge, okay, and you just click on the close, okay, concave as we are talking about, and you click, it will give you, it will cover this whole thing, okay. So this is what it do. But what if I don't want to cover the whole, the like the whole area of the hole? I want to only cover this part, okay. So what in this case I can do is that this part, uh, or maybe you know, a vice versa. Maybe the top part I want to keep it open, this area. But this area I want to keep it closed. So in this case, what I can do, I can go to any edge. Press space bar, okay. Go to bridge. This time I will not go to two holes. I will go to edge. And very simple. There is no uh, modifiers here. So what it will do is that just like the two holes, it will ask me click on the first edge. So this is the first edge I want, and then click on the second edge. Maybe this is the second edge. As soon as I will click on this one, you can see it will create a bridge between these two. Or if I click here. And click here, and then uh, what else you can do is that if you will go back here, okay. Uh, if you want to add more, uh, like you know, you can say uh, edges to uh, like segments between that, so you can add a uh, edge loop uh, to it, okay. So, but we are not going to do that. But let's see if I click here, okay, and here I have this now. I want to close this uh, gap, but not this one. Simple. Go any uh, on any one of your edge, okay, and close. And if I click here, so it will be closed. Now, because here I don't have a lot of edges or uh, segments, which I was talking about just a moment ago, so it will create something like this. But what if you want more edges here? So what I can do here is that spacebar, okay, insert. Okay, multi edge loop, and then I can specify whatever you want here, or maybe this time interactive resolution. I will keep it okay, and I will choose the in, uh, any perpendicular one, and then I can drag left or right to add as many uh, edge segments like you know, edge loops I want. Once I'm done, spacebar close. Concave, that's what I need. Click any uh, edge and it will be closed with a nice touch. -up. So here I have the opening, but down here I don't have an opening, it is closed. So this is one more way you can use the uh, like the bridge, which bridges only two edges instead of two holes. So go ahead and practice on your own with these tools. Bridging holes and edges is something that I do all the time. So I think it's definitely worth it to get a handle on how it works. So just practice and practice makes it perfect. So check all these th uh, things here and then, you know, all these uh, options here with the help of the, like, you know, that you have in the bridge, two holes and try all of them, try different like settings. Either uh, your bridge can be inwards, just like what we did before or outward. So it's up to you. So guys, if you have liked this tutorial, please click on the like button. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it. And I really appreciate uh, if you will give me a shout out on your on social media account. So, you know, I just spread the word. So more and more people who just want to learn all these courses, uh, they can just come to my channel, subscribe. And all these tutorials, if you will find online, if you you want to buy them all these courses they are very expensive but what i'm doing is that same uh courses with the same amount of details i'm giving for you all for free okay so i just need all your support so i can have more subscriber and it will motivate me to make more tutorials more contents more full courses so till we meet next class take care of you so bye and We'll meet next class.